Lowell. You ready for it? You ready for it again? It's the LTC sessions happening at LTC. Go figure.
Hey, this is Britt Bounder, one of the producers of Lowell Train, and we're here with a band that you just heard, King Shot, and they just uh, had a fantastic set. So I'm going to introduce some of the members of the band, and uh, why don't we start with this gentleman over here to my far left. And what's your name, sir? My name's Eric Ortiz. I play bass. Yeah. Hold, hold it down, you know, keep the low end going, you know what I'm saying? I'm like the glue, like Elmer. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be on the mic all night. Camera if three. Him. And I'm Charlie. I play guitar and I sing. My name's Johnny. I play drums, and that's pretty much it. Oh, he does much more than that. He does a lot more than just play the drums. My name is Richard. I'm lead guitar and backup vocals. Well, thank you guys for coming on to uh, the Lowell Train. All uh, aboard. Thanks, thanks for having us. So what'd you Sponsored think of that first set? Seiko. Sponsored by Seiko. Not sponsored. We're all wearing we're all That's wearing the Seikos. watch guy. We're all wearing yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know we we know what time it is. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, what we just heard? So the first song was called song called Oh, camera one now? Song was <laughs> Don't worry about the called, cameras. I have to call it out because I need to I need to be focused. Camera one. So uh, the first song was called uh, Sunrise Comes. Um, it's actually the oldest song that I that I have. Um, it's like six or seven years old. And I I kind of, uh, when I was writing the songs, I was really into like Cody and Cambria and, and Rush and all those like bands that kind of did more than just the music and, and did like concept stuff. And I was like, oh, let me take a stab at that. And like I, theme albums and that sort kinda, of thing? Kind of, yeah, like, yeah. Like a concept album. And yeah, I, I, we don't I, see that much anymore. No, and it's like, the story I realized years later doesn't make any sense at all. Like, <laughs> Like it's it's cool and like it was imagery and it's it's all about like space and like exploration and, and basically going after this girl that you're into. And all she wants stuff. to go there though. Um, Time but travel. I wrote it. I wrote it kind of about that, and then it kind of progressed. And I like had these songs from before, and I made them fit in. So the story got really weird towards the end because these songs didn't make any sense, and I kind of like found meaning in them. And what is um, the story? Oh God. Uh, How much time do we have? I'll give it like the shortest version possible. All right. So basically, there's this guy. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. The guy's Charlie, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it's all about there's Charlie. This guy, all right, so there's this guy. All right, um, here we go. And he is on Earth, and he um, wakes up one morning, and he realizes that this girl that he was really into isn't there anymore. And he starts to kind of freak out. And he's like, I don't know what happened. She was here one day, and then all of a sudden, she's not here, right? And then now is this girl his girlfriend or no, his mother? I, eh, his, yeah, his, I don't know. All right, well, not really. No. Oh God. <laughs> all right. Well. <laughs> all right. Anyways, so he kind of freaks out, and he um, basically finds that like he's kind of walking around in this fog, and then he finds himself in this field out in the middle of the night. Kind of wanders there. Doesn't really know how he got there, and then he looks up and he sees this this night sky and it's it's the most beautiful thing he's like ever seen um he's never seen anything like and he kind of realizes that, okay maybe this girl's out there maybe this girl is decided to leave earth which isn't like a diet or anything like that maybe she just left and i need to go chase her through the stars and then he goes and at first it's beautiful sort of like at the beginning of a relationship where it's like everything's great and happy and, and fun and then all of a sudden he hits this asteroid belt and things kind of start to get rough and he's like he can't find her when he's out there. He's sort of like, maybe this wasn't the best idea. You okay. know, maybe this wasn't a good idea to come. And then he kind of gets more and more angry, and he sees these stars. And this is where it gets really weird. Okay, well, <laughs> all right, we're, we're going to come back to that. All right, we're, we're, <laughs> we're yeah, all right, so we're going to move on. So uh, thank you for that, you know, explanation there, Charlie. We'll, we'll come back to it at some point, maybe another show. But, uh, yes, I'm doing us all a favor, I think. All right, we're going to hear some of the uh, more space travel in the second set, I'm sure. All right, so uh, King Shot. That's, yeah. that's, how about, that's a you know, softball kind of question. Yeah. How did that name get started? Just Just fight over the mic. Note, this is news to all of us except Charlie, so we apologize. Yeah. But it may be awesome, so like if it is, like, <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it doesn't mean anything. Sounds cool, though. It's why I, that's why I, I love it. I King literally shot. was like, I was like, I was saying these words together, and I was like, cable wars, yeah. Yeah. speaker 
I'm looking around the room. Speaker clock. Yeah, I've done that. King it's, shot. It's really, really hard to do. And then it was sort of like do. king shot, and then it sort of stuck, and I was like, okay. Doesn't sound too stupid. And then you went online, and they were like, you know, ten, I other, looked, ten other bands <laughs> named King no, Shot. That was the thing. I, I had all these other band names, and then I went on, and no one. Wow, it's amazing. I don't think anyone's ever said King Shot as one word in their entire life. So I like it. I like worked it. Worked out. Yeah. Okay. Well, it sounds great. Thank so, uh, how about how did you guys all meet, and uh, why are you together, and are you still friends? <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So it uh, the way like I know Char. Bring it back down. Me and Rich grew up together. Rich is a guitar player, the guy over there with the long hair. Don't mention the hair, please. Nice and, hair. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah. And uh, so me, me and Rich, uh, we grew up together. We've been friends for like over 10 years. Um, and then a couple, uh, about three years ago, uh, me and Charlie went to school here in uh, UMass Lowell. And uh, Charlie was starting a band, and he was looking for some guys to play in it. And we met at a party. And we were sharing our love for Kendrick Lamar. It was, it was a beautiful thing. It was love at first sight. And um, so, yeah, so we. Um, it was in the stars. Oh, definitely in the stars. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. All right. And uh, yeah, so that was about three years ago. And then, you know, with school, life, uh, you know, we had to put you know, the project on pause a couple times. And then um, people moved away and stuff like that. So we needed to look for new members. So then, uh, you know, we needed another, gu uh, another guitar player. We got Rich involved. And then uh, we needed a drummer. And uh, me I met Johnny. Right? Johnny. Check it out. Johnny, who hasn't said one word yet. I, know, I, know. I met Johnny on my first bass gig doing Footloose, the musical. Johnny, give me some skin, baby. Wow, Woo! Footloose. That was a lot of fun. So, yeah, so then uh, I met Johnny. It's been about a year now, almost a year. Actually, it's been like eight months. But, yeah, and then okay. February, yeah, yeah. Valentine's Day, you know, love at first sight. Once again, this love, man, it's great. It's all over the place. And uh, so, yeah, then, like, me and Johnny have been just, you know, we were jammed together. And then I was like, yo, Johnny. Come on in, come through. We need a drummer, and you're, you know, he's got chops and he's like, a great fit. And he didn't like the music at first, and we had to convince him. Hey, Johnny, would you like to say a few words in, in your defense, yeah. or? Sorry, All right, um, here's Johnny, everyone. Finally, Johnny. Yeah. Jeez, the mic's been passed down. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> All right, Johnny, yeah, go that's, ahead. That's pretty much true about the music. I, it's, it's definitely not. Uh, if I, <laughs> if I had like. A, an option, or not an option, but like an ideal gig, it would be something else. But I've learned to like really uh, enjoy the music we're playing, and since it's a completely different style, I have to uh, change my play style. And so I've learned a couple of things about it, and it's it's been overall a great growing. Experience oh, good. Now, what music would you normally like to be playing? Like funk or like jazz fusion. Well, I'm sure that stuff. these guys. I play that with 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 these two a okay. little a little. A little away from punk and jazz fusion, but it's it's close. But yeah, so All right. I'm enjoying it a lot. Good, I'm glad yeah. to hear that. And Rich, can we hear a few words from you? You absolutely Finally. can. Jeez. I know, right? Yeah. I'm waiting for the mic. It's all the way oh. down there. That guy will talk all night. Oh. Okay, Rich, tell us a little bit about yourself. Your you know your influences. Ooh, all right. So, uh, Rich, you have the mic. I have the Finally. mic. Finally, you know, it's been a long time coming. I've been playing guitar since I was young. Go back to say, I started music when I was seven. So it's been about 20 years now, long time. Started on piano, didn't like it. All I wanted to do was play soccer and video games. I am Brazilian, I don't look the part, Yeah. but I am Brazilian. So you gotta throw that out there. Yeah, he's Brazilian. Yeah, okay. holla, how's your boy? Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> but no, I got into guitar, like when I, I say I started guitar at 13, that's when I started taking things seriously. Cause I started guitar right around eight, but I didn't really care much for it either. And right around 13, I you know, discovered Dream Theater, got into it. Years later, I let it down and stopped listening to Dream Theater, got into guys like Kiko Loredo, who is a world-renowned guitarist, also Brazilian. Uh, came across him on a Brazilian night talk show. He was there, he was playing a few songs, and I just fell in love with his playing. And ever since then, that's at that age is when I kind of discovered, like, hey, you know, maybe I should look into this and take it farther. And and here you are and today. Here I am today, playing with these guys. These guys. Now, how would you guys describe your sound? Uh, what you know, in general? I know you mentioned that you had a, a rush influence, not a rush, but a, a influence by the, the band Rush. Yeah, it's. Um, I was. I was in the rush for a while. I got. I was really, really into Coheed in Cambria for a long time. They're my favorite band. Um, so I kind of drew a lot of influence from that. Um, and then I became a John Mayer fan, and then. From there, it kind of 
you know, it it changed the way that I wrote music. And then I kind of got into almost country music, and that kind of changed. And then I kind of came back, and it's weird. It, the songs don't really, you know, fit together stylistically. Yep. Um, hopefully they sound okay being played after each other, but they're like they're completely different. I now you're the the main songwriter yeah. of the band. Yep. And now how do you other guys contribute? Uh, the last song we did, uh, that's a song of mine. It's called Boss Battle. Um, you know, it's like when you get called into your boss's office and, like, it, things aren't going too well. Oh, boy. When, that, like, when are, they, are they ever going well? Right. So, you know, you, you get that feeling that, like, <laughs> this isn't going to end pretty, but you got to psych yourself up. It's like, you know, for a prize fight. Yeah. You know, it's like... It's like you know, it's like a, like a like a heavyweight you know championship fight. You know, you go down the aisle, you gotta get ready because you're gonna get knocked out probably like eight times. So, you know, the, the, when I thought of that, I was like, well, you know, it ain't easy, but I'm 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 gonna uh, brace for it. And then that, like that's just what I figured I would be listening to if I was going into the ring to fight my boss. So it's boss battle. Yeah. So what other what other influences have you guys had as far as your music? Um, I know other bands or at least for for me. So I'm a trumpet player by day, and like that's like my main gig. And so I've been influenced by a lot by uh, jazz, uh, funk, and like Latin music and stuff like that. And I try bring that playing to my bass playing. So um, when it comes to like at least my playing per se, what I bring to the table, I try and bring what I've learned as a trumpet player and what I've learned through music that way and kind of interpret that in a way to fit the bass having it yeah. not just the root notes and just same the same note over and over but having it move the music forward and push it yeah you know that's so that's that's how i view myself and my role with the group excellent all right we only have two minutes left and so i wanted to ask you two final questions so what can we expect for the second set and where can we find you if um, we're out and about looking to see you guys play somewhere. So first question. Um, second set is basically the second half of the story that I didn't get to finish. <laughs> it's really short. He basically becomes a star and explodes and destroys everything. Okay. So it gets heavier. And that's more of like the Coheed influence stuff there. Um, and as far as shows going, we're, we're looking at booking some acoustic shows first. Um, kind of getting out there, getting used to playing together on a, on a stage. Um, and then hopefully booking some. some now, do you guys play in the Merrimack Valley area? I mean, we where do you we've done some stuff in Boston. Um, we're kind of more Boston based now. Boston based. Um, we were Lowell based for a while. Now we're now we're. Yeah, we've played a couple places around Lowell, and um, we've played down uh, up in Nashua. Um, but we're probably going to try to stick to the Boston area more and kind of the suburbs like Somerville and. and you know, Cambridge and places oh, like cool. that. Oh, cool. Okay. So. All right. So we're looking forward to the second set of King Shot. So let's get back to our instruments. I got to get back behind, uh, back into the control room, and uh, let's go on with the show. Great. And also Thanks check guys. us out on SoundCloud. And Facebook. And a sound Facebook. SoundCloud is soundcloud.com slash citizens band. Because that was the original name of the band, and it was already taken, so yeah. I can't change that. Well, we were originally another name, too. <laughs> yeah, we were, we, our show had a different name as well, so it, it happens. Yeah. But then it's out there in cyberspace, and it's like, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's All right. get it back. So. All right, here we go. Cool. Back to rock and roll.
Take off the light.